Well, another violent weekend around Indianapolis. Five people were killed in four separate shootings in just the last three days in the city. Sunrise reporter Anna Carrera live downtown to break it all down for us this morning. Anna? Yeah, good morning, Ben and Julia. Officers here at the CCB have plenty on their minds as they try to figure out how these murders happened and who is actually responsible. Now, the most recent one happened just yesterday afternoon. Metro police were called out near New York and rural streets on the east side just after 3 p.m. They found a woman there who had been shot and say her body had been dumped. And early yesterday morning at the Sawmill Saloon, also on the east side, another shooting. In this one, at least five people were shot. Two of them were killed after a fight about a girl inside. Now we talked with people who are regulars at the saloon who say this doesn't feel real since it hits so close to home. Everybody is kind of in disbelief right now. There's a lot of tears. Everybody's sad and I think the only people that have actually that actually can believe what happened are the people who were here and saw it. There's a memorial growing now outside the Sawmill Saloon honoring the lives that were lost. Police tell us one of the people who was shot was a security guard there. Then back on Friday, there were two other deadly shootings. A man found in his home on the south side who had been killed. Also someone who was found in the street on the north side who had also been killed. A lot of violence going on and people from the community are speaking out. You'll hear from them coming up at the top of the hour. Ben and Julia. All right, Anna, thank you.